just like we did with our top, we're first going to attach our foam by gluing it and then stapling it all the way around the base. Then we staple over that with our layer of bonded Dacron. Now, the one thing you want to want to realize, we're going to put four pieces of fabric on here, so we're going to quarter it, of course. Our reference point, our screws, okay, they're even on the top and the bottom. All right. All right. When we take our panel, our fabric panel, we're going to fold this in half. We're going to clip a center. If we use the screws here, 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 and here. Kind of a Every 12, 90 degrees. 12, 6, 3, and 9. Exactly. Okay. Then we'll put our fabric centered on that screw and bring it all the way under. So we've got about three quarters of an inch of fabric to an inch. Because you have to cover this to edge. To pull under. So it's got to be all. Ooh, he's going. And we go inside. Upside down. Don't staple your finger in there like you did the last time. <laughs> you even laugh. Okay. Same screw reference that we're using here. Pull that tight. Now center it. Now, what we want to do, we don't want to pull it so tight that we flatten this out. We want to keep our shape. Well, and it, when you pulled it tight for a second, it looked like you almost had a bow in there. You okay. don't want to pull it that tight. No. Now, and you're stapling where now? On the bottom we're or on the side? staple it on the bottom. On the bottom. Okay. Now that we've got the, the center, now we come back to the outside edge. What we want to do is we want to take all of our fabric and smooth it out. So Keep you a, see that same line in the fabric? The same line, our thread line, coming across here, right at the top. We're going to staple you see that? The other fabric will go over it. Oh. Okay. All right. So we'll go Base that in place. Same way, we'll follow our, our thread. We'll come all the way over here. And you're not making it too tight so you feel the wood. Nope. But you've got edges here. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to put on our last two sides, and we're going to produce a finished edge going down. Oh, Okay. Right. Same thing, center on your fabric, and we can use the screws. From the other two. Yep, okay. There's our screws again. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you have your notches, you're matching up. This really does look nice. I, I'm giving you... You know, for as simple as this thing goes it. together, you get a really nice look out yeah, of it. Yeah, love it. Okay, now on this one right here, remember the lid's going to sit on top. Right. So if we put a staple right here, you're not going to really see it. It's going to be covered. All right. Okay. What we want to do is the same thing we did last time. We'll okay. come over here and we'll get that line going and we'll get it pulled taut. Yeah. Okay. Then we want to go and look inside. See, our post is sitting right here. Right there, center. We're just going to put a little little mark there. And we're going to come down to the bottom where our screws are. Put a little mark right there. Okay. Okay. What's that going to tell you? Well, when we fold this fabric under. Oh, you're folding it under. Okay. When we fold it under, we're going to bring it right to that chalk. Still going to keep our line. Nice. And if you notice, we've recessed this lip. So that it'll hide that the casters. Hides those. I was wondering why that. That's perfect. Now, to put them on, what you want to do is swing the caster and make sure you've got. So make sure they don't bang into the edge. Right. Make sure you've got about a half inch clearance on it. Okay. And what do we do again? We can put these right at our seams. Okay. And we just walk our way around. It actually does hide them. And they're in far enough that you're not going to just see those. It's going to look like it floats. Okay. Let's watch it float. Yeah. Ooh, that would be a good ride. Yeah. <laughs> I've got our finished top back. Look at that. Oh, wow. wow. That's nice. That's that nice. really looks great. Now, I love it. We can line our seams up with our seams here. And oh, the top seams with the sides. Sure. That Definitely. looks great. The big button and everything Thanks. really Thanks, Michael. looks good on there. It does look good. And now um, it's yeah. time for cookies. Yes, yes, I I have your cookies. Oh, oh thank you. Well, you don't get all of them. Well, you know, I did a lot of all the work. You did do a lot of the work, and it looks really good. I, oh. I love this. Okay. <laughs> this is good. We are all done, but mm -hmm. you know what? I have a few more things that I'd like to make. Well, 
You know, I like peanut butter cookies and um, I know how to make with peanut chocolate is good. I know how to make peanut butter cookies and we can put those together. You know what though? I need you to help me bring this into the my room. Can you bring this out? I have a cookie first. Okay. Michael, I can't believe how simple this was to do. It's as easy as it is. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us today. Bye for now. Bye. Our ottoman is now complete. You've seen all the steps to make a beautiful storage ottoman. Using a kit with pre-cut wood and all the supplies makes your project easy. Check out all the designs, plus headboards and cornice boards, at the Upholstery Studio.